Peace. So today I just wanted to build a little bit about the difference between criticizers <clears throat> and critical analysts. And oftentimes, especially on social media, I see people getting into these back and forth arguments or, or venting or entertaining and losing time searching for something that is not ultimately going to exist. And <clears throat> when we don't have the ability to recognize the difference between a person that's just being a criticizer, who's not even about bringing about effective solutions or problem solving, as opposed to people who are literally doing the work, who are invested in problem solving in order to bring about solutions, we can lose a lot of time searching that way. And we can lose finances, we can lose a lot of things, just not being able to discern that difference. And recently, I posted something about the ALS challenge. And I didn't criticize anybody for supporting a cause like that. But what I did say is, <clears throat> if you have supported that cause, then could you please consider supporting the cause that I'm doing as well? And I use the acronym ALS as donate a little something to something that I'm doing as well. And what I am doing is a Ferguson fundraiser initiative to help support the family of Mike Brown and some of the other protesters and organizers that's going on down there in Ferguson right now. So I have family connections down there. And I thought that it was important in lieu of the propaganda and the misinformation and our ability to start controlling the narrative of what's going on surrounding the death of Mike Brown, to send one of our own community members down to Ferguson, to connect with our local organizers so that they can get an eyewitness account of what's going on, as well as educated and trained about how they're organizing around the situation so that they can bring that information back up to the community that I live in. And that is the fundraiser initiative that I'm promoting right now. Um, so. That's what I essentially said. You know, if you're supporting that cause, would you please consider supporting this cause that I'm doing too to help fund the travel expenses and to give them the ability to help out financially as well as voluntarily when they get down to Ferguson. And so when I put that call out, <clears throat> some people initially just jumped on the ALS challenge and start criticizing the ice bucket challenge and calling people names and all this other stuff. So. My thought process is, if you are criticizing anything that anybody's doing, and obviously you must be supporting something as opposed to that, that you find worthy. So my initial response was, you know, well, I look forward to any and everything that you're willing and able to do to support this cause, you know? And once I did that, some of the responses I got from people was, uh, I ain't got no money. I can't do nothing. So you're criticizing people over here for having the ability to support a cause, but yet you people have not even put yourselves in a position to support anything outside of just running your mouth, right? I even took it a step further. When people said that they didn't have the ability to support, I thought about ways that I can put them in a position to earn an income, to make some money in order to donate. And even when I went above and beyond being able to give a person that type of opportunity, they couldn't even get that together. It was some excuses or reasons why they couldn't even do that. So just that interaction and that exchange told me that you oftentimes have criticizers and you have critical analysts. A criticizer is not even thinking about solutions they haven't even thought about ways that they can work through the problem they're just in a position to just talk about the problem a critical analyst is a person who's dedicated to problem solving they are solution orientated and these are people who if given the same situation they wouldn't have just criticized the ALS challenge and said why are you supporting this they would have set up their own fundraiser they would have been able to direct you to a place that you can support that they think is a lot more worthy. That is a person that's a critical analyst. A criticizer just got something to say. And one of the things that I encourage you to do is if you want to see who's who in the zoo, all you need to do is just ask one simple question. Whenever you see somebody being critical about a situation or, or talking about this or talking about that, just ask them, 
okay, what have you done about it? Just ask them that simple question. Don't ask them, what are you doing about it? Don't ask them, what do they hope to do about it? Don't ask them, what are they going to do about it? Because then you give them wiggle room to say any and everything. And that's oftentimes what people do. Well, I'm going to do this and I'm finna do that. And later on, I'm about to go deposit this and, you know, this blah, blah, blah. That's why you ask them, what have they done? Because that is a concrete question that demands actual facts. They got to show and prove that. So if a person is saying this, that, and the third, and you say, what have you done? Either they're going to demonstrate what they have done by showing you that, well, I'm doing this right here. Here's the evidence behind what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I'm saying that we should be willing to support this as opposed to that. Now you know you're dealing with a critical analyst, a person who's solution oriented that's dedicated to problem solving. But if you ask a person what have they done and they have no answers, there's nothing they're doing then you know right then and there that this person is just a criticizer and they're not really dedicated to problem solving or bringing about effective solutions. You know at that particular point you're losing time searching for that that does not exist. Will they get it together? Hey, maybe one day, maybe. But you know right now that this person is not about no solutions because if they were, they would have answers. And they don't have any answers. They don't have anything to show and prove that what they're saying has some validity or basis to it. So I will, this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educating for those of you who wanted to know a little bit about the difference between people who are just criticizers as opposed to people who are critical analysts. If you want to find out the difference, just ask them what have they done. Don't ask them what are they doing or what are they going to do because people can tell you anything and wait and they will. But if you ask them what have they done, now you've locked them into a situation where they have to show and prove and demonstrate with actual facts. Peace.